A question I'm often asked is, David, I've imported a Docker container into GNS3, but when I close GNS3, everything is lost. So if I install Python, it gets lost when I stop and start GNS3. The good news is that in GNS3 version 2.2, we now have the ability to support additional persistent volumes on Docker containers. In this topology, I've got an Ubuntu PC. This is a Docker container connected to a NAT cloud. If I type apt get update, I can update my Ubuntu references and then I'll be able to install software on this Ubuntu computer. So at the moment, Python 3 is not installed. I'll use the command apt-get install Python 3 to install Python 3 on this Ubuntu container. Python 3 is now installed. You can see as an example here that I'm running Python 3.5.2. So I'll clear the screen and just do that again. Python 3, notice I'm running Python 3 on this Docker container. Now, to get persistency, right-click, click Configure. And under Advanced, notice we have this option, additional directories to make persistent that are not included in the image of volumes config, one directory at a time. So in this example, I'm just gonna copy a whole bunch of directories and make them persistent. You may be able to do this more efficiently, but notice when I go to root and type ls, there's a whole bunch of directories. I'm gonna make a whole bunch of them persistent by pasting in that list of directories and clicking apply. Notice what happens. The Ubuntu container went off there and then came on again. So now I'll need to open up my console once again. I'll change the appearance to make this easier to read. So container has rebooted, Python 3 no longer exists. So you wanna make these changes before you install software. But now anything I install will be persistent. So apt get install Python 3 as an example. That'll install Python 3 once again. Python 3 is now installed. And what I'll do now is turn off the topology and close GNS3. If this is working properly, when I now start up GNS3 again, Python should still be installed on that Docker container. So here is my Ubuntu network once again. I'll make that a little bit smaller and I'll start up this Docker container. And I'll open up a console. PC has got an IP address, but what I wanna see is that Python 3 is installed, which it is. So notice the difference. I've installed Python 3 on this Docker container. It wasn't installed there previously. When I shut down GNS3 and started it up again, Python 3 was still installed. That is different to previous releases of GNS3. To do this, once again, right click on the Docker container, go to advanced, and specify which directories you wanna have persistent or make persistent. So I specified a whole bunch of those, but that means that if I install applications such as T-Shark or others, those applications will be persistent. If I shut down GNS3 and then start it up again, those applications will still be there. So I don't have the hassle of having to reinstall everything once I've installed it on a Docker container. 
Okay, so there you go. That's how you make applications such as Python, t -Shark, or whatever you install on your Docker containers persistent. You need to specify which directories you wanna make persistent on your Docker containers. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That really does help me. I wanna wish you all the very best. Keep it down.